Welcome to CivilNet. My guest today is Jean Arakelian, who is a photographer from France, but uh, by listening to his stories, one gets the impression that he's not in France very often. He has lived in very many places around the world, and I'm going to talk to him about what it is that photographers seem to be searching for. Jean, welcome to CivilNet. Thank you. Um, I really do want to understand what it is that photographers search for, and, and let me start with the, the actual question itself. Um, the reason we're talking to you now is because you were here in Yerevan between trips to Istanbul, between yes. exhibitions in Istanbul. Yes. And you are, I don't know, maybe the sixth or seventh photographer that we've talked to this year, Armenian, looking for something in Istanbul, in Turkey. Mm -hmm. What is it you're looking for? Actually, I lived in Istanbul for three years. And to be honest, I want to be honest, I've made a long trip uh, since 10 years from Lebanon uh, to Japan, crossing maybe India. And one of the main goal, it was some things uh, to find, uh, it was to find something about my root, my, uh, my identity. And um, Istanbul was something really special. And I have learned from all the countries, but in Istanbul I have, I can say, exposed my, what I was able to do could be uh, could be shown and uh, my route my grandparents come from uh, Istanbul and uh, from here to uh, but the, the, by the sound of your exhibitions um, it's not you you are showing to them it's them you are showing back to them yes what have your exhibitions been about and why there is two main exhibition uh, first uh, last year uh, I have uh, made some exhibition about pictures taken with a m m mobile phone a very simple mobile photos taken by photos, mobile phone. yes, and a simple Sony Ericsson, and I can do what a normal camera cannot do without to use Photoshop. The way is that I don't work as a photographer; I work as a filmmaker. I use some movement that a photographer cannot know. And actually, I love uh, experimental shooting, and I can get very really some kind of amazing uh, perspective. And um, so I have been some shooting uh, mainly in Turkey. India and Iran. And some uh, newspaper, Turkish newspaper wrote about me and they gave me opportunities to uh, make a, a big exhibition uh, last year in the uh, main gallery of Istanbul. And after they saw some more of my work about Dervish, uh, Dervish Turner, uh, not taken with mobile phone, and they were interested as well to promote me. And they have uh, organized a big exhibition at the uh, big Turkish cultural center uh, in uh, Yunus Emre Turkish cultural center in uh, Brussels. Uh, as well, I had an opportunity in Bulgaria for one month. And, and these are all about whirling dervishes? All about dervishes and the next one, in, um, it will be uh, in uh, end of August as well. Why is it that your subjects are Turkish subjects and uh, not? Because I was in Turkey. Uh, to be honest, I don't want uh, to do more uh, with dervish. Uh, uh, Dervish, uh, well, I had some opportunity to shoot about Dervishes, but I, as I have traveled a lot, there is so many subjects. For example, I love train, and there is one subject that I, love to, I like to do in a Trans-Siberian, uh, uh, from Moscow to Vladivostok. I like to make some shootings, very specific shooting, but with a very old, old camera. Uh, because I like, I have discovered with a simple tool like a mobile phone that we can do very, uh, very specific pictures. And, uh, Nowadays, we work with very uh, strong camera, uh, uh, 20, 4,000 megapixels, but I think we lose a way how to search about beauty. Your question was, first question, what looks uh, uh, what are you for a photographer? Yes. Definitely, like everybody, with his own tool, beauty. And through simplicity, we can find the beauty, really. And uh, by example, here, I, I bought some very old camera, uh, Zorki or uh, Fed camera, and I love it to touch it, to, because my intention is it's more about what, what I see, you know. And, uh, and as well, it teaches me on how to live simply. So I have discovered that there is a way, surely there is a way on how to, uh, to live in a better way through uh, pictures. Really, we can make a kind of, kind of therapy for sure. So it's to come back on simple ways, simple tools, and how we can make uh, something that uh, people think you yeah, use a uh, software. So by using the oldest cameras and the most new camera lenses, the, the yes. mobile phones, the photographer becomes more important or less important? Yes, yes, this is a point. More important. Yes, this is a point, yes. Uh, actually, the, uh, 
it's, uh, you know, a photographer is too, should take a risk. There is a risk in, not just photographer, art. In art, there is a risk. It's, uh, we have to take time. We shouldn't to be a risk. And a risk to find a very specific subject. And when you, have, you find all this, the picture is nearly done. Just you have to click. But you have to know how to be in such a situation to find something very special. And for that, you need to travel. I mean, for artists, you need absolutely to travel to see, to, to make your five senses to be six, if I can say, to be totally open and so that uh, you can uh, experiment a uh, different kind of tool. And uh, actually, I, there is a, it's very interesting that there is many, it's a mood, mood, mood to come back in uh, all tools, all cameras. And you found them here in Armenia? Yes, 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 yes. yes. And uh, I, I like the leather, you know, where the camera is put inside the, the pocket and the, the smell. The smell is so important as well for me as, as well. I have been in India, you know. So, uh, smelling, uh, incense, uh, the smell is a way to guide us toward the pictures as well. So, and the uh, train, um, crowd, I mean, to, uh, and I like big, huge spaces, so that's why in my next, after Istanbul, I, I plan, uh, I plan maybe next year about to do something in Siberia, because I saw some pictures and I like this all little cities, uh, where there is an old monk with old churches, uh, uh, with uh, all the camera, and especially one thing interesting is um, before, I mean, we use first camera at the 19th century, it was the first camera, but the world was not as it is now. So I can imagine what uh, pictures can be done, can be on, a, on nowadays with this old camera, with uh, different movement, different uh, noise, uh, different situation. You do the shooting first, and then you try to find an audience for it, or you know there's uh, actually and then you go to uh, no, no. Actually, uh, I was not, to be honest. I never. Uh, I was looking for an exhibition. Always, when I work, I mean, it's to experiment for myself because I have a specific movie to do in India, related about one discovery I have done about Silk Road through one Indian painting. So just I experiment different way of of how to find different perspective. But the thing is, I had uh, always some opportunities uh, to show, uh, to show the, some pictures. And um, so, uh, of course, I took it and uh, it is nice. <laughs> well, we hope to see what comes of your Armenia trip, of your Siberia trip. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank Anna you to you. from France, but not only France, photographer of the world. Thank you for watching CivilNet.